Hey everybody, welcome back to Bob Key TV. This time, the perfect place to put your hands on the handlebars for each situation. Let's start with climbing. For me, the perfect placement of the bars is pretty wide towards the limit of the bend. And I see a lot of riders with their thumbs underneath the bar gripping pretty hard even on the climbs. Um, to get the most out of your cardiovascular system, it's important that you ride with your thumbs above the bar. It's a little bit less tension in the body. And the more relaxed you are on the bike, the more efficient you are. So for climbing, for me, the ideal place is right here. And looking ahead, obviously, looking up the climb. Uh, keep your chin up and find the right rhythm and try to breathe as regularly as you can, even as your effort increases. For flat roads, I like to have my hands right here. If you have shift levers that allow you to shift with the brake lever, um, and almost all the modern systems are similar, you shift and brake with the same lever. Um, this is my winter bike. My high zoot, as fast as I can possibly go bike, has a little bit different setup. But the brake levers are in the same place and accutate the brakes in exactly the same way as these. For the flats, I prefer, unless I'm going flat out, whereby I will have my hands in the drops. And when I have my hands in the drops, unless I'm doing a full out sprint, I will usually have a finger not around the brake, but near the brake. So in case something happens, I don't have to move from here to there, I'm already there. That's a very comfortable position, very aerodynamic, and much quicker to brake. When I'm on what's called the hoods, the brake hoods, I like my knuckle of my forefinger to rest up against the curve of the hood, so I have a little bit of an anatomical support for my torso. So it, using a little bit less effort from my midsection to keep myself upright. So that is the perfect spot. And also the brake levers are very close to my normal position on the flats. This is generally when you're going at your quickest. And if you're in a group, if you're in a group, maybe move your fingers to the brake lever. You can't do that with both hands when you're reaching for a water bottle, but you can always have the brake lever as close to your fingers as possible. And that can save you from a lot of crashes when you have an emergency situation. If somebody opens their car door and you need to swerve around them or slow down, especially if there's cars right next to you and you can't slow down and somebody opens their car door, if you have to reach from here, let's say, to there to put the brakes on, that instant can be the difference between slowing down enough and crashing into a car door. If somebody turns left in front of you, if somebody cuts you off from the right, you have your fingers right near the brakes, even though you're pedaling. I spend 95% of my time just like this when I'm on the flats because anything can happen. <laughs> People come out of nowhere uh, if I hear a car coming up from behind, I definitely, even if I'm climbing, sometimes I'll move my fingers to the, the, the closer to the brake levers so that if they do not see me and make uh, a maneuver that's dangerous to me, I can brake as quickly as possible. Flats, sprinting, climbing, but remember, when you're going more than climbing speed, keep your fingers as close to the brake levers as possible. When you're in this position, you can avoid just about everything. You can shift, you can brake, and you can ride very aerodynamically and efficiently. That's the perfect place to keep your hands on the handlebars. If I've forgotten anything, please feel free to include them in the comments section. Click on my face if you'd like to subscribe to buy some merchandise. Click on the t-shirt. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. And many thanks for the thumbs up. Thanks a lot, everybody.